Hello everybody, this is Jono. I hope you're all safe and sound and well wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me for another video. So today I want to talk about um, kind of some getting started tips uh, for using the Discourse Internet Forum software. Now Discourse, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, is a completely free and open source tool that you can use to build online communities. And I've built hundreds of communities over the years with different companies and organizations and I've used Discourse a lot. It's a really awesome platform, okay? So in this video, what I want to talk about is how do you uh, browse a Discourse forum? How do you find interesting topics to, to participate in, how do you reply to something, and then also how do you post a brand new topic as well. So these are going to be some getting started bits and pieces. Uh, and I'm also going to talk about like how you format your text, how you add pictures, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so let's get right into it. Now, my friend Giorgio has rather generously loaned me his community forum. It's called Guitar Hacks. Um, and uh, Guitar Hacks is basically an online training uh, site uh, where you can learn how to play the guitar. Right. And he's he's been working with this guy called Kiko, who is the guitarist in Megadeth, where they've got loads of online learning video, online kind of guitar playing tutorials. Right. And um, we set up the community a couple of weeks ago to kind of bring some of these students together. And we've been having a great time kind of getting this up and running. And this is what it looks like. So first of all, let's let's look through how you browse for different categories and content in a typical discourse forum. Now, I'm going to get rid of me for a minute. Um, first of all, you can see here that there's this kind of blue box up here. If you're a normal user on Discourse, you're not an administrator, you won't see this. This is something that I'm seeing because I'm an admin, okay? Now, when you go to pretty much any Discourse forum, you're going to have one of two usual views. One is called the categories view, where you see these categories on the left. And these are kind of like buckets of similar discussions, right? So, for example, news and announcements, member discussions, show and tell, things like that. And on the right, you've got uh, the latest view. These are the latest discussions that are occurring on the forum. So the most recent post, right, which was 13 minutes ago, is here at the top um, in that particular topic. Okay, so the newest stuff is generally at the top. Now, the other view you might see here is called the latest view. And that's just the stuff at the top, but it doesn't show um, the categories view. Okay, so let's go back to the categories view. Now, uh, I'll give you an example of what's in the category. So for example, show and tell, right? So here we've got uh, Louis V uh, hybrid picking idea. And you can see that Louis V posted a video, bit of show and tell, some people saying that's awesome, great stuff. All right, um, we've got uh, Megadeth Reckoning Day. At the top here, another video, this is for a challenge that I was doing, um, um, and lots of discussion there, okay? Now another kind of category is gonna be, um, if I go back to it, will be news and announcements. So this, for example, will show you brand new things that are going on in the community. So at the top, let's go back to the top, uh, and Giorgio shared, for example, this, which is a, a bit of software has been building to help people with their training, okay? So this gives you a bit of a sense of how you can go and find things. Now, let's see how we can reply to something. So there's this topic at the top here called what are you working on learning? Now, I've been working on this, which is Sad But True by Metallica, a wonderful song. And I'm doing a little bit different, but that's kind of what I've been learning how to play. So let's click on this topic and um, and you know, it says, what are you working on learning? And this is the herd basically saying these are the songs that he's working on. And we've got the little question here, what songs are you working on? Now, there's a few different ways in which you can uh, reply to this. Uh, but before you reply, go and read the topic, go and have a sense of what everybody's sharing, what everybody's saying. And, you know, for example, here we've got uh, Franco Perla 144. Franco saying, I'm working on my own music. It's really frustrating to arrange your own music, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of a cool little comment. I think it's good that Franco's working on, on his own music. So I'm going to give him a like. If you press that button, then that's how you like someone, okay? And they'll like your contact, uh, content, very similar to social media. So I'm gonna go down here. Now, once I've read the topic, right, I think to myself, okay, I'd like to go and reply and share that I'm working on Sad But True. There's a few places in which you can reply. Now, one is that you can click the reply button here and it'll pop up the editor and I'll get to that in a second. So let's cancel that out of the way. Um, uh, and that will respond to this specific post. If I want to respond to for something further down like this one, I can click reply and that will reply to that specific post. And it'll actually, what's called thread it, you'll be able to see this message and then a little button will appear and you'll see the response to it right there. Now, another option that you can have here is to click the blue reply button at the bottom and that will again pop up the editor, but the response to this one will appear right at the bottom. So the next one after this one by the herd, okay? Now, my favorite way of replying is to respond to specific bits of text. So here is the real question. What songs are you working on? If I highlight that with my mouse, 
uh, and then let go of my mouse button, it pops up this little button saying quote. Now, when I press that button, um, the editor pops up, but you'll notice that there's some stuff written in it. Now, the way the editor works is the bit on the left is where you type in text to add your content and, and share your ideas. And then what appears on the right is kind of a preview of what that content's going to look like. So because we use that quote button, what it's done is here's the line that we wanted to respond to, but it's added around it this technical mumbo jumbo, right? This is called Markdown. Now, Markdown is basically, it's a way of basically formatting text in forums, in development tools, in all kinds of different places. And it's actually pretty neat. And I'll show a little bit more in a second, but I'm actually going to do a dedicated video on how to use Markdown. So what, what what's great about this is that this now means that, you know, I can highlight something and respond to it, but I could also highlight something else. So for example, you know, um, you know, for example, I could say, first of all, um, great question. Um, um, I am currently working on sad but true uh, by Metallica right now that's kind of interesting but some people won't know what sad but true is by Metallica um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quote okay and then I'm gonna take my YouTube video and I pre search for this I'm gonna grab that cut and paste it and then if I cut and paste it in here just the link you'll see that what happens is it converts the link into the actual video okay and you'll see how this works in the second when i post this response that people will then be able to go and watch the official music video um now what i'm also going to do is because you can see here that's me replying to the herd but i can also reply to somebody else so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select franco here um and i'm going to click the reply button uh, the, sorry the quote button and what this is now doing is you see how now this is putting the quote underneath my previous one so now i i can reply to the herd here but now I can reply to Franco here. Um, and I'm going to say, I feel you. Um, I have been working on four new songs and working by myself uh, can feel like I am uh, in an echo chamber, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit reply. And there's my post, okay? Dead simple. So the quoting piece is a really nice way in which you can reply to lots of different people, um, you know, in, in different ways. So let's now talk about how you post a brand new topic. Now I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'd like to get a sense of what, um, let me bring me back, okay? I'd like to get a sense of what um, pedal boards people are using, right? Guitarists are fascinated with guitars and effects and amps and all kinds of, you know, gizmos. So I want to know what people are actually using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all, and this is general good practice, is see if there's been a topic on this already. So I'm going to click the search button at the top and I'm going to type in pedal board. Okay. Um, and what we can find here is a previous discussion that I actually kicked off. Um, right. And um, this is where I was asking people about whether they're using an Axe Effects or a Kemper. And this is actually a poll, which I'm going to get to in another video. But I don't see anything about asking people about pedal boards, okay? So the way to kick off a new topic is I'm going <coughs> to click the New Topic button here at the top, get rid of me, all right? And I'm, what I'm going to first of all do here is I'm going to type in um, um, uh, what kind, uh, what, what pedal boards if any, are you using, okay? Um, now, you want a topic to be short and descriptive and kind of be very clear about what is the, the conversation starter. Think of it as a conversation starter, like at a dinner party or at an event or a meetup or something. You're basically asking people a question, and make it simple so people can understand it. Now, the second piece in here is the category. Now, this is, remember categories are kind of like areas where you group similar kind of topics. Now, is this a show and tell thing? Uh, it's kind of not really. This is about videos that they're playing. Member discussion is the general discussion piece. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one, which is member discussion. Now, one of the things I thought would be interesting, right, is to actually show my pedal board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, everyone. Um, I would love to get a sense of what uh, effects and pedal board uh, gear you are using right 
Um, now, when you type things in, this box will pop up sometimes, and it will it will try to detect if there's been similar topics. And frankly, most times it's wrong. But it's good to see if there is something that obviously is similar to that, then you, you want to kind of go and join that discussion instead of rehashing it the topic again. But we'll get rid of that by clicking the X button. Now, what I thought would be cool is actually show a picture of my pedal board. So what I did is I've taken a picture of it, and I'm going to grab my Finder window, right? And I downloaded the picture. So this is on my local disk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my picture. And this is how you add photos. You just literally drag it over, okay? And then it's uploading it. All right, now you can see it put this little, it kind of put it at the beginning of this line. So I'm going to kind of get, push that down. This is a picture of my pedal board. It's not very exciting because I don't use different pedals. I use something called the FC12, which is for a specific guitar tool called the Axe Effects. Um, uh, let me know, um, let me know what you are using, right? Um, now, one thing I haven't covered so far is how you can format um, your text, right? So remember up here, we've got, uh, you remember how we talked about Markdown earlier on? Well, one of the things that you can do is, for example, I'm going to select the word love. And if I press the B button here and press it, it's going to change it to bold on the right, just like a typical kind of text editor. But what you'll notice here on the left in the editor is it's got these little asterisks, two on either side, and that's what makes it bold. Now, if I get rid of these asterisks, right, Okay, it goes back to normal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it again and press the italic button, and you'll see that it puts one asterisk on either side, and and it and it makes it italic, right? So what's cool here is that if you want to make something format, if you want to format something without using your mouse, for example, I want to make it bold, I'm going to do two asterisks like that. Oops. It's hard to type when you've got a giant microphone in front of your face. And boom, off you go. Now, something else you may want to do as well is is refer to another member of the community. So, for example, I'm going to type in, um, um, I would love to hear what uh, Giorgio. So that's, I want to talk about, I want to tag Giorgio, um, who is, you know, the creator of this forum there. Um um, is using. And you'll notice that it popped up his little username. So what, what I can do is, let's say I wanted to do that again, I could just type in, you know, uh, a G. Looks like we've got a few people who start with G, but then I can just select Giorgio. Okay, so it's an easy way of being able to select people. Using, He is quite the collector. Okay, and then I'm going to cre create topic, and then here it is. It appears there. And now what's going to happen is people will be able to see this and then they can go and reply. And that's basically how it works. All right. So I hope that was useful. Uh, be sure to subscribe and, and hit the like button if you found this useful. Um, liking especially really helps uh, videos like this from, from getting the visibility that I think they deserve. But thank you for joining me and I'll see you in another video.